For much of California's history, Zinfandel was the most planted red grape until Cabernet took over in the 90s. It has a spiced wild berry character. Strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, blackberry, bramble, and some pepper, clove, and anise to make a rich, bold, assertive, easy to love wine. Think if Pavarotti were a wine. Because its fruit character is through the roof, but the tannins are not, you'll hear Zinfandel often described as jammy, rich ripe fruits that don't also dry your mouth out. Think biting into an overripe blackberry or raspberry jam. But the best examples are balanced between that strong fruit character and other elements to create a powerful but balanced wine. Zin thrives in the heat. It doesn't mind 90 degree days, but it also doesn't mind cooler temperatures. This means the wines can range from black fruit and high alcohol to red fruits and lower alcohol, depending on where it's grown. A note about white Zinfandel. You know, your old college friend that came in a bag in a box and oversized bottles. Here's how that got started. The owner of a Napa winery was making a good old fashioned batch of red Zinfandel. He took some runoff juice and put it in a separate tank to ferment. Lots of winemakers do this. It leaves the original juice more concentrated because of more juice to skin contact. And he would just bottle and sell the runoff juice as a dry rosé. But one of these rosé batches had what's called a stuck fermentation. The yeast died before it ate all the sugar, sugar. and all that leftover sugar produced an overly sweet rosé wine. He decided to just bottle and sell it anyway. Whatever. And to his surprise, it sold like wildfire. The cultural effect that resulted was so strong that most people today still think that all rosé is sweet. And it's still so popular that 85% of Zinfandel grapes produced are used specifically for white Zin. White Zinfandel gets a bad rap. But let me say this, is it transcendent wine? Usually not. But white Zin does introduce many Americans who are used to chilled sugary drinks into wine in the first place. And frankly, who am I to hate on anything that gets people into wine? More importantly, the popularity of White Zin actually saved a ton of old Zinfandel vines that would have been ripped out and planted with more popular varietals. Now, we have a bunch of old vine Zinfandels that wouldn't have been around otherwise. Speaking of old vine, just how old is old? Typically, it's accepted that vines over 50 years old fall in this category. Old vines are said to produce better wine as they produce less grapes, which Bye. means more concentrated fruit. But there's no regulation to this. Anybody can slap old vine on their label. So if you're looking to specifically try some old vine Zinfandel, your best bet is to check online and verify the vine's age on the winemaker's website. If it's truly old vine, they'll most likely be bragging about it. <laughs>